scientific advisor, day one on planet Pandora. I have been assigned to this sector by my superiors to find evidence of abandoned alien technology, similar to that found by our competitor, the Atlas Company, in the ruins on Prometheus. Technology that many believe made them the superpower they are now. This kind of find seems astronomically improbable on a rock like this, but my benefactors believe in it enough to waste my considerable talents. I've only been here for three hours, and I already day 43 on Pandora. At least I believe it to be the 43rd day I've been here. The moonlight cycles are difficult to get used to. The planet rotation day is over 90 hours long. The people that inhabit this salted dust ball are as... Day 43 on Pandora. At least I believe it to be the 43rd day I've been here. The moonlight cycles are difficult to get used to. The planet rotation day is over 90 hours long. The people that inhabit this salted dust ball are as ignorant as I've seen in this galaxy. When I attach scientific inquiry to something like the vault, I'm greeted with silly nursery rhymes and slack-jawed soliloquy about a man who knew a man who knew a man. They drift off into a stupor where I half imagine they're drunk or brain damaged and are unaware of my continued presence. If I believed in hell, I would contemplate how it compared to Pandora. Ironically, such a belief would align me with these Neanderthals. Day 119. I sat in the shower in tears for just under an hour. This is interesting, considering we haven't had water for days. I equate my ever-decreasing sanity with that of the population of my dig site. With the investigation of the symbols and glowing patterns at the site, we finally unearthed arguably certifiable proof of the existence of alien life having been here on Pandora. But this celebration was lonely, as I only have colleagues left. And I'm not too fond of the fat girl, Shimei. I've been told that scientific discovery requires sacrifice, but I never understood what they meant until now.
76th day. I was woken up, hoping I was having a reoccurring nightmare. We spent more than 36 hours earlier today relocating our campsite closer to our dig site, only to be ambushed by local wildlife that's hungry coming out of hibernation. Half of my staff was eaten alive, or killed by skags. I survived by hiding under a colleague of mine who was being devoured on top of me. His name was Carl. My emotions are deadened. And I grieve for none of them. In point of fact, the only emotion I felt was that of joy. I felt joy because his chair was always more comfortable than mine. I took his chair. And then... I noticed the emissive glow on the rocks at the dig site. Day 172. The fat girl, Shimei, was crushed under an alien ruin that collapsed today. She didn't die right away and begged me to put her out of her misery as she choked on various fluids and bile. I hesitated because she was the last one alive that wasn't me. As she was choking and coughing and dying, I tried to enjoy the interaction. I imagined to be a conversation, as I knew it was the last I would have for a while. I finally got around to smothering her so that I could continue my research. 
I could tell that she regretted the decision. The Skags have been waiting for this meal for a while. They will not go hungry tonight.